Hello. It's good to see you. Today, we're going to take a look at the five outfits that I've put together for work for the upcoming week. It's Sunday, so I start looking ahead to the, to the week coming up. You know, one thing I like to do on Sunday mornings is I'll go do a little grocery shopping, you know, try to figure out not just what I want to, you know, what we want to have for dinner here at home, but also what I want to take for lunch, you know, every day at work. I take my lunch every day. So I like to go ahead and just kind of get everything I need for five days of lunches at work, not just what we need here at home. And on Sunday mornings, I like to go shopping for all that stuff. And also another thing I like to do is start thinking about what I want to wear to work. If you're not aware, because everybody doesn't watch every video, I did start a new job about three months ago and I'm working in an office every day. So um, I'm back to wearing like actual clothes every day not just like yoga pants and t-shirts because I worked from home exclusively for two and a half years and I didn't even do zoom calls so I could just wear whatever and uh, so I didn't really need any kind of office clothes I did get rid of some of my clothes that I had for office wear but I kept a lot of them just in case and I'm glad I did because I didn't did end up uh, working in an office again um, eventually though I will be working from home two days a week but I'm not at that point yet but hopefully soon I will be able to work from home two days a week most weeks so I'm kind of looking forward to that but what we're gonna do today is we're gonna take a look at the five outfits that I put together for the upcoming week now yesterday I took a bunch of stuff to the little thrift store. It's this little thrift store that is run by this church and is staffed by volunteers and all of the money goes to local charities and causes. It's a wonderful place. And I took him a ton of stuff because my older son cleaned out his closet and his, like his chest of drawers and had a bunch of clothes and shoes and stuff. So I took it all to them. And while I was there, I did a little bit of shopping. They're in the process right now of switching over from uh, spring and summer clothes to fall and winter clothes so they don't have a ton of clothes out right now they're trying to get rid of all the warm weather stuff so they can put out all the fall and winter stuff they have so I didn't buy any clothes but they had this big uh, container of just little grab bags of stuff and I thought wouldn't it be fun to buy some of these little bags I bought these little grab bags some of them were a quarter, some of them were 50 cents. I picked up one, two, three, four, five. I think I have five bags of assorted things. I didn't even really look at them. We're going to do a video later looking at the contents of these bags. Here's one. So it, it helps them out. And I like to buy little things to look at so we're gonna do that it's just sort of a good thing all around and another thing I found while I was there was this pretty thing I found this belt look at this it has these beautiful rhinestones and it's silver so you have this chain that hangs down here I just thought it was gorgeous. Look at these rhinestones. Oh, they're beautiful. And up here we have this lobster claw clasp and all the adjustable chain. So I decided when I was putting together my first outfit for the day, I thought, let's do one with this belt. And it was only 50 cents for this belt. All their prices are so good. Everything in there is, the prices are great. I love it. And I found another belt. i had been looking for a wide elastic, like a wide elastic belt. I have one, but it's kind of old and it's starting to look worn out. I got it at a thrift store too. And I've also found a wide black elastic belt, exactly what I was looking for. I did not incorporate it in any of these outfits though, but it was also only 50 cents. It was a great trip to the thrift store. So I decided I would, um, my first outfit would be something that would incorporate this cool little thing right here. So I went into the closet in there and I thought, what would, what would look good with this cute little belt? 
and I looked through I have slacks skirts dresses I have a bunch of different things looking at this belt I was thinking probably go with a dress pick a dress so I looked through all of my dresses and I kind of landed on this one now I will tell you um, most of my clothes do come from thrift stores I have been I would say for the last 25 years at least probably 90% of all of my clothes have come from thrift stores um, I love I love thrift shopping because it's just like a treasure hunt you just never know what you're gonna find so I thought I would go with this really pretty it's like a dark blue dress it's knee length it has a little accent right here a little metal piece there to go with that now this bracelet I bought at a yard sale I think I paid five dollars for it it's also very sparkly so we have this sparkly little bracelet to go with it and then I picked out this necklace here and you can see that it has these really pretty glass beads of different shades of blue and a little bit of green we even have some little green glass beads in here just like the little bit of green in this dress so this dress was made by London Times and it's not fully lined but I have lots and lots of slips that I can wear I have slips of different lengths if you are wearing a skirt um, it's something that a lot of people don't think about um, you have to consider how see-through it is and you can't really tell inside you kind of have to get where you can see the natural light through the fabric you want to check and make sure because a lot of fabrics especially material like this this is uh, polyester a lot of materials like this may appear to be opaque but if you're in a situation where the Sun is like you're out in natural light it may actually be more transparent than you think and I just always make sure to check and just you know for good measure even if you know I think it's okay I would just put on a slip under it anyway I know it's a dying art people don't dress up anymore but I, for me I always feel better when I dress up a little bit if I'm if I'm having a, a hard time or you know, just not feeling too great dressing up just a little bit and this wearing this is no harder than wearing my yoga pants and t-shirt it makes me feel a little bit better I don't know something about it just boosts my mood and that's not that's just me maybe it won't work for everyone but it does for me you can see that the back has the same pretty pattern to it I love it it has different shades of blue and then it has this greenish color and white it's very very pretty pattern I don't have a top or like a jacket or anything to go with it a lot of times because sometimes the office I work in is kind of chilly I will take something like this to wear over top of it in case I get chilly I didn't pair anything with this though I did get some earrings look at this pretty earring look at that these earrings have different shades of blue and green just like the dress so it kind of I didn't buy these with the necklace but they go really well with this necklace got these on clearance at Belks many years ago <laughs> I've had them for a long time they are clip-on earrings because I do not have pierced ears so I have lots and lots of pairs of clip-on earrings and for shoes as I mentioned in the last video um, I do have plantar fasciitis in my right foot and I also I have had arthritis in my big toes for years but it's getting worse and I have a bone spur on the top of at least one of my toes maybe both I'm not sure so I have to deal with foot pain so a lot of the cute shoes that I used to wear I, I can't wear anymore because it's just too painful but I have found some really nice little sandals like these little wedge sandals these are from Vionic and I thought they would look really nice with that hint of lighter blue in the pattern of this dress so and they're, they're very comfortable I can't do high heels anymore because of the arthritis I've lost most of the flexibility in my big toes um, the range of motion is just not there anymore to wear high heels when you wear high heels you flex your toe quite a bit and I can't I can't do it anymore so I don't like it but you know sometimes in life 
well, if you live long enough, you know, you will have to deal with adversity. You will have to deal with stuff you don't like. And you can either sit around and complain about it or you can find a solution. And I just, I decided to find a solution. These were my solution. So they're from Vionic, V-I-O-N-I-C. And they make some really pretty little sandals. Another brand that I like is uh, Bear Traps, B-A-R-E Traps, T-R-A-P-S. Um, they have pretty decent arch support and they're, they're comfortable to wear. And they're kind of cute. They have some really cute shoes. <laughs> so we have this here with the earrings. And then see what I want to do is take this belt and just wear it around there. I, I can't hold it up. I only have two hands. But this is going to be kind of cute, I think, with this little belt with this fun little dress. And you know I like my sparkles. I always like to find a way to incorporate a little bit of sparkle into my day, especially on a Monday. I've tried to stop wearing all black on Mondays, even though I'd, I do kind of have that tendency, like we're mourning the end of the weekend. And with my little earrings and the necklace, this all together would be the outfit for Monday. Now for Tuesday's outfit, I could not make up my mind. I struggled with Tuesday's outfit and I finally decided to just show you the options and you can tell me which one you like better. I have, I have two choices to be made here. Let's start with the top. Now what, what made me put this outfit together was this necklace right here. I have this pretty necklace. I love it. It's kind of like a lavender color. I'm going to take it off of here and I'll show you. So for the earrings, I have these little hoop earrings and they're kind of just a dark silver. It's like a gunmetal color. Thin little hoop earrings. Now if you don't have pierced ears and you wonder, like if you wanted to wear some hoop earrings, these are a great alternative. These are not a good example, but these are. I buy these on eBay. Now it looks like a pierced earring. Oh, I think it does. This part right here, you just pull it back and there's a spring in there and you just pull it back and it will just sit on your earlobe and it's totally comfortable. It doesn't hurt. And you can find earrings like this, different sizes, different colors of metal. If you just go to, e I get them on eBay. If you go to eBay and search for spring clip earrings, you can find these and they're so comfortable. I think that'd be good too for kids. Like if, you know, like if it's a, a, a small kid and they don't have pierced ears, but they want to wear something like this, you know, and if it gets pulled on, it's just going to come off your ear. It's not going to rip a hole or anything, you know. So I have these little earrings to go with this necklace and a pretty stretchy bracelet that has these iridescent little rhinestones and glass beads. It's green, but for some reason I thought it would just look really good with this. Look at this necklace. Now it's not terribly long. It's a double-stranded necklace. I think it's made to look kind of vintage, but it's it's not. Um, I. I don't remember where I got this. I don't remember if I bought it on eBay or at a thrift store. I don't, I don't even remember now where this came from, but it has this really pretty little pendant down here and it's just, I just thought it was so pretty. So I decided I would put together an outfit based on this necklace. It has a very small lobster claw clasp and about two inches of adjustable chain. And the earrings, I just kept the earrings very simple to go with this little necklace. And then I have this pretty little ruffled little cardigan thing here. It's surprisingly warm. Now I know it's August and it's hotter than a hinge as a hell outside, but in the office I get cold. So a lot of times what I do, look at this big button. Look at that. What I'll do a lot of times is when I'm walking into work, I will just carry this because sometimes in the morning when I go in, it's already hot outside. And I have just this sleeveless top right here. It's from George. I got it at a thrift store. It was originally from Walmart. It's a nice off-white 
little top and it has this band down here. Nice little cowl neck that's going to come down like that, which will show off my little necklace. So when I'm wearing it, it's not going to hang that far down when I wear it because my neck's bigger around than that. <laughs> It's going to show off my pretty little necklace. And because it kind of had that like a, a lavender color to it, I wanted to find something to go with it that kind of incorporates that same color. So I picked this to go with it. It has a slightly fitted waist to it, especially when you button the little button right here. So, and I just thought this fun little sparkly bracelet would look cute with it right there. Now here are the choices. I just could not make up my mind. <laughs> so I put them, I put them together. I wanted to wear a skirt with this. So I'm looking at it and I looked through all of my skirts and I have skirts of different lengths, different colors, different patterns, lots of options for the skirt. I could not decide which one lo would look best with this. I'm thinking, personally, this one. I have this sort of a light beige skirt. It's very plain. I thought this light khaki looking skirt would look good with it. It's a knee length skirt. Or this one, which is a little bit darker. Now this is a corduroy skirt. It's very cute. I love the I love the little tiny belt loops. <laughs> I don't have the original belt that went with this skirt, but it, apparently at one point it had a very tiny belt that would go in these little tiny belt loops. So, so I could do this, but now that I see them together, I really don't like it. I think this one would look better. I mean, I could do a pair of uh, slacks, but. I didn't feel like it and I do what I want so I didn't pick a pair of slacks I picked a skirt because this top is it's not white it's like an ivory color so I have several white skirts but I, I didn't want to do white with it because this is it would really emphasize that it doesn't go with that top because that top is ivory so I want to do that together so I wasn't sure about the skirt but now that I see them in here I'm really thinking I don't like I don't like this no, no. I'm personally I'm going with this one. <laughs> but tell me what you think. What would you do? And I have time because I'm not gonna need it right away. And then, okay, so then I couldn't decide what pair of shoes to do. Now I have two pairs of Vionic sandals here to pick from. I'm gonna show them to you. I have this pair of these brown leather Vionic sandals. They have this nice little ankle strap here with a gold buckle. Nice little wedge, not too high of a heel, just a little bit of a heel. They have wonderful arch support. Oh my goodness. If you need shoes that have good arch support, these are great. They don't sponsor me. I just really love their stuff. So I have these. They have this nice little accent strap across the top with the faux buckle. I think they're very cute. So I could do that pair or I could do this pair. I'm kind of leaning towards these, honestly. <laughs> this pair of sandals right here. Now they have these metal accent pieces here. You have a gold colored disc and sort of like a rose gold and silver. These are also Vionic, much lower sole or much lower heel. And they have rubber soles, look at that. They have these nice rubber soles. So it's good grip too, which is nice if you're interested in that. But in the top, they're so cute. Look how cute, look how cute they are. I love these these shoes and they're so comfortable. They're so great and they're pretty they're pretty um they're not super rigid but they're not as flexible as some shoes are. Like these have a little bit of give to them but not a lot, which with my arthritis is important. I need a more solid sole. So those are my choices and of course we have this pretty bracelet. Look at that. I think that came from one of the Goodwill jewelry bags. I'm not sure, but I think it did. And the little earrings, the spring clip earrings from eBay. I have 
these in so many different colors and sizes. I love them. My personal choice for this outfit at, at this point, I may change my mind. I probably will. At this point, I'm going with the lighter, like the khaki skirt here with the cute little top, the sleeveless top, and the cardigan. I'm going with these two things and perhaps these shoes right here. And this, I think if I were doing the darker skirt, I would go with the other pair of shoes, the brown ones. But for this, I think I'm gonna go with that right there. All inspired by this one pretty little necklace right here. It's so cute. And that is my outfit for Tuesday. Wednesday's outfit was inspired by a necklace that was right next to the one I just showed you, the purple one. I saw it and it was hanging in, in one of my jewelry armoires and I thought, I don't think I've ever worn that necklace. And for me, every now and then I will go through my jewelry and I will get rid of some because I just have too much. And, um, my rule is with clothes and jewelry, if I haven't worn it in a year, it may have to go just to make room. So I decided I would put together an outfit to justify having this necklace because I really do like it. And, it, and this outfit is, it looks more like something I might wear in the fall, but I like it anyway. And it starts, let me show you the necklace and the top that goes with it. So here's the necklace right here. And I think this came from one of the Goodwill jewelry bags that we did not too long ago. I know I haven't had it a year, but I kind of felt like I should wear it. Now these are little seed beads right here. We have lots and lots of strands of these little seed beads. And then you have these little metal beads down here that look like brass. They're very pretty, look. Very pretty. And to go with that, I have this pair. These are spring clip earrings. They're big and they're kind of a brass color. I wear them a lot. And uh, I got these on eBay years ago. I've had these forever. I think this was one of the first pairs I bought and I've worn them hundreds of times. To go with that, we have a bracelet that also came from one of the Goodwill jewelry bags. It's kind of the same shade of orange. Not, I mean, not exactly, but close enough. It has this interesting little hook clasp on it, right there. So we have this fun little bracelet to wear with it. And I mean, look, I was looking at this color here and I don't really have a top that is this color. I, I have a couple of tops that have kind of some orange in them, but it was just the wrong shade or something. I looked at it and I just didn't like it. So I decided to go with this dark brown top. Now this is just a little string top here. It has a built-in little bra thing in it. So I have this little top here to go with it. It's a nice dark brown color. Obviously I cannot walk into the office looking like that. That is not professional. <laughs> it's not. So I have a nice little ivory cardigan to go with it. It has this lovely little fuzzy trim coming down the sides. This is from Talbot's and it has little buttons that are right here. We have these little buttons coming down so you can button it up if you want to. So both of these pieces came from thrift stores and um, I know someone always comments in the in the uh, so somebody always says in the comment section that I dress like an old lady and you know, it's, it's bless your heart. And, and all I know to say is, honey, <laughs> you're next. To go with that, we have this skirt right here. This is such a cute little skirt. So when I thought about this necklace, this skirt jumped into my mind. I thought, go look at that brown skirt with the orange in it, with that little floral pattern. I love this. It kind of has a 70s feel. You know, I turned 50 this year. I have a 70s feel as well. <laughs> I remember the 70s. I was a kid in the 70s. <laughs> so we have this pretty little, and it has dark brown in it just like that top, but it also incorporates that orange right there. 
So it is kind of more like a fall type of outfit. It's something I would probably be more likely to wear in the fall. But I decided to go ahead and do it now because I really wanted to wear this necklace. I haven't worn it yet, so I thought this would be a good opportunity to do so. So we have this. I love this skirt. It's so cute and it's so fun. It kind of flares out a little bit. To me, it kind of has like a hippie feel to it. I like it. I like it. It has the orange down here at the bottom too. And it has a built-in slip to it, so I don't have to worry about a slip. It has this really pretty green in it. It's like a sage green running along here in these two stripes. Yeah, I like it. So the shoes. And I wear these shoes a lot. This is one of my favorite pairs of shoes to wear to work. Because they go with everything and they are super duper comfortable. <laughs> the older you get, the more you appreciate comfortable shoes as well. Um... These are from Bear Traps, like I was mentioning. I like Vionic sandals and Bear Traps. But see, they're not really gold or silver. It's like kind of neither, but it still kind of has a metallic finish to it. Um, they, they are very, very comfortable. I love them. And they go with everything. So I wear them a lot, especially if I'm putting together an outfit and I don't have much time or quite frankly don't really care. And I'm just kind of slapping some stuff together. These shoes get put into the mix pretty frequently. Um, I always try to put together my outfits ahead of time. Especially, I want to make sure, if nothing else, I want to have them ready the night before. I want to make sure that I have everything laid out in there. That's my, my closet and my bathroom are right behind these doors. And I want to have everything laid out so that way, when I get up, because I have to get up early. When I get up, I don't have to think about anything. I just put on what's in there. I don't have to think about it at all. I just put it on and go do whatever I gotta do. Because I find that a lot of mornings I get up and I don't wanna think about, I don't know what I wanna wear. So that way I don't have to think about it. Now every now and then there will be a morning that I will get up and I will look at what I picked out and go, I do not wanna wear that. And that does happen occasionally. I will look at it and go, I have no interest in wearing that. And I'll pick something totally different. Sometimes that does happen. So, yeah. So I wanted to do something with this pretty little necklace right here. And I also got to incorporate this little bracelet that I don't think I've ever worn either. And it's also from one of the Goodwill jewelry bags. Look at that. And I have my spring clip earrings as well. And this fun little skirt. I love this. Now, where I work, people do tend to dress like this for work. I mean, they, you don't often see people dressing down. It's just not, you know, when you take a job, you have to consider the office culture, the atmosphere, like, you know, what do other people do here? You know, when in Rome, do as the Romans do. That's kind of how I look at it. So I wanted to try to kind of do what everybody else is doing, you know? So, and, and it's fine with me because I love doing this kind of stuff anyway. So we have this fun little skirt. I love this skirt. I really should wear it more often, but I really don't. But I have a closet full of skirts like this that I love. I have so many, it's kind of hard to rotate them all. So we have this fun little skirt with the dark brown top, the ivory little cardigan, and the necklace bracelet and earrings and my trusty bear traps sandals. That is my outfit for Wednesday. For Thursday, I wanted something simple but slightly elegant. No particular reason. I was just kind of feeling that when I started looking at things to go with this outfit. I started with a pair of pants this time. I do have multiple pairs of slacks. It's just in the summertime when I'm dressing for the office, I just prefer to wear skirts more because when we get on over into colder weather, I really don't want to wear skirts and dresses that much because it's just cold and I don't want to wear them. I'll be wearing pants all winter, so I'm enjoying the skirts and dresses now. But we did go with a pair of pants this time. It's not Labor Day yet, so I can wear my white pants. I have this pair of white slacks. I think I think this is a pair I got for 50 cents. This was, a, I think, 
I think this is the pair. I have several pairs of pants that look like this, but I think this was the pair that I got on clearance for 50 cents at the little thrift store. I was so proud of that purchase. These are gorgeous pants. Look at these. Gosh. They have kind of a straight leg to them. They almost feel silky. I love the way they feel. Wow. So they have a flat front here, little pockets. The back pockets are fake. Don't you love a fake pocket? It's so infuriating. You think you have a pocket? No, you don't. No, you don't. So we, I started with this pair of pants. I was standing in there in the closet and I saw these and I said, let's do something with these pants, but let's make it kind of simple, but elegant, dressy, somewhat, but not really. So I decided to go with this top. This is from Notations. So it incorporates the white from the pants in the collar and the cuffs right there. I love this little sweater. Now this sweater also came from the little thrift store. I think it was also 50 cents. <laughs> My $1 outfit. To go with that, I have a very simple little necklace here. It has like a little crescent shape with a little faux pearl attached to it. So this part is attached to the sweater. It's not a separate part. It's just, it's not like a separate shirt. And then we have these little fake cuffs down here. Isn't this cute? Oh my goodness. Now, to go with that too, I have this little stretchy bracelet. It has these little rhinestones on them and have sort of an opalescent look to them. They look like little shiny opals, but it's stretchy and I love my stretchy bracelets. It is also kind of a silver color to go with the silver necklace. And I really think with gray, silver looks better than gold if you're wearing gray like this. The sweater has a nice little crisscross pattern to it, a little diamond pattern to it. Like that. This outfit is very simple. And I like a little bit of sparkle, of course, which is why I wanted to incorporate my sparkle here and in the earrings. Look at this pretty earring. Now these earrings came from Walmart. This part came from Walmart. So they had these little pierced earrings. They were like $3. And you can't really see it, but there are some little tiny rhinestones on these earrings. They're very lightweight. I don't like heavy earrings. So what I did was I bought these, these pierced earrings and I took off the pierced part and I added a small spring clip earring to it so I can wear it even if I don't have pierced ears. I've done that with tons of earrings. I want to do another video at some point converting pierced earrings to clip-on earrings. I've done several videos like that, but I have another collection ready to do of pierced earrings that need to be converted to clip-ons, and I've been saving them, and I was thinking maybe we could do them in a video at some point. So I do plan to do that. So we have these fun little sparkly earrings to go with that. I thought these earrings would be really cute with this, this sweater here. And I'll probably wear my hair out of the way in a ponytail or something. And I have these black sandals. These are also from Bear Traps. They're kind of like the pair I just showed you. They're just, they're just a different, basically just a different color. But basically the same pair of sandals. They're configured a little bit differently. These have like an ankle strap, a little different from the other pair. But I thought that would look all right with that. I wear a lot of sandals when it's warm too, because I, I always keep my toenails painted and very cute and I like to show them off. So in the winter time, I don't worry about it so much because it's cold and I'm not wearing sandals. <laughs> so we have our pretty little necklace here and these cute little fun earrings from Walmart there. This necklace I bought on eBay many years ago and my 50, my 50 cent sweater, 50 cent pants. These are the prettiest little pants and they fit me perfectly. I didn't even try them on, but I thought, well, if they don't fit, I'm gonna lay out 50 cents. They fit like they were made for me. They fit absolutely perfectly. The waist, the length, everything, they fit perfectly. So they make me very happy. So we have this pair of pants, the little sweater here with the faux shirt underneath it, necklace bracelet, earrings, and the shoes, and that is my outfit for Thursday. 
And that brings us to Friday, and we're celebrating the end of the week. Sometimes Friday's outfit is crazy, sometimes it's not. This one is sparkly a little bit, if nothing else. There's, there are various aspects of sparkle to Friday's outfit, which makes me happy. You know, I want an outfit to make me happy on Mondays and on rainy, yucky days. And Fridays, usually I'm already happy, so I don't need anything to make me happy, but a little bit of extra sparkle never hurt anybody. So I'm going to start with the top. Now, I totally forgot that I had this top. Now, this one is a little bit longer. This is a small. I think it must be made to be kind of baggy. It says it's a small. I don't know. This was from Raffaella. Look at the collar on this thing. Now, I got this at the little thrift store. Most of their tops and pants and skirts are three dollars most of them if it's extra special it might be four most of them are three dollars which is really great i mean especially with all of the other thrift stores around here going up and up and up and for the prices of everything this little thrift store has their prices have been the same i've been shopping there now for almost 10 years and the prices have stayed the same they don't they haven't gone up at all in that time so I really appreciate it. So I decided to go with this longish red top. So I was thinking, what do you wear with the long top like that? Well, you wear red hoop earrings for one. I have these fun little red spring clip earrings. These again came from eBay. I have these in red, black, pink, and blue. I think I have a blue pair of these too. and a glass bead bracelet in red. Not to detract from that colorful, colorful accent, the collar, look at all those sparkles. It has little beads, rhinestones, and sequins. So you have three different layers of sparkle on this collar. And this dark red necklace, my brother, when my brother was in the Navy, he was in the Navy for 10 years, he did quite a bit of traveling for a while. He bought this for me. I cannot remember where. He bought it somewhere in the Mediterranean. I don't remember where. But he sent this back to me, this beautiful dark red little necklace. It has a silver clasp on it. It's so pretty. I love this color. But he sent me this one, and he sent me a silver necklace with a little, like a little garnet, little pendant on it. It's so pretty. And he sent me a t-shirt from... Rome. He got to go to Rome and he sent me a t-shirt and I still have it and that was 30 years ago. I still have that shirt. So we have these three quarter length sleeves. I did not pick out anything to go with this because the sleeves are already kind of long. I do keep a cardigan in one of the drawers at my desk in case I get chilly. I can put that on. It has multiple colors in it so it kind of goes with everything. So if I do get chilly, I need an extra layer. I do have a little sweater at the office I can put on. So what kind of, what would you wear with the top that length? Hmm. You know what you wear? You know what I wear? A fun little straight black skirt and this belt. I have a fun little belt to go over that long top. This belt. Look at look at it. It has all these dingle dangles that make me so happy. Look at all the little dingle balls on this thing. Even the adjustable bit back here has a little cluster of plastic pearls. It's just tons of rhinestones and little plastic pearls. I love it. So the skirt is just kind of plain. It has a little bit of a flare down here at the hem. It kind of flares out a little bit. So that when you walk, it kind of swishes. It's very cute. But I wanted a little accent piece to go with that top. I thought that would just look so cute in there. So just imagine that little belt over top of that shirt. I can't levitate it. But you could just get a feel for it. That is just the coolest. I forgot I even had this. It was hanging in my closet, kind of back behind my shoe rack, and I didn't see it. But I happened to catch a glimpse of it while I was spinning my shoe tree around. I saw it. 
So this will go around this top at the waist. And if I put it on and I don't like it, I won't wear it. But that's the thought right now. Sometimes I will see these things and think they're going to look really good together. And most of the time they do. But every now and then I will put them on and just not like it. <laughs> that does happen sometimes. But for right now, that's my idea to go with this black skirt here. Now again, this skirt may look very opaque. It may look like you would never need a slip with this, but trust me, you do. Because when you're looking at it too, you have to remember you're looking at two layers of fabric right here. When you have it on, it's going to be one layer. And you definitely, I will definitely need a slip with this skirt because this fabric is quite transparent when you get out in natural light. So I have lots of slips, so that is no problem. So we have this long top and this little black skirt. And to go with that, I have this little pair. Now these are not the best shoes for me, but on Fridays, typically on Fridays, I know I'm not gonna have to do a lot of standing or walking. So it's okay to wear these little sparkly black shoes. Sadly though, they're starting to come apart. I have these little insoles on the inside because my feet kind of stick to them. So I put these little insoles in there. They are starting to kind of deteriorate a little bit, which is making me sad. But these are some I bought at Walmart like three or four years ago. So they're not really meant to last. They're very flat. They have no arch support at all. But again, on Fridays, it's not quite, quite so crucial for me because I, I'm not standing or, or having to walk as much as I do the rest of the week. So if I'm going to wear shoes that may not be so comfortable, usually it's on a Friday. <laughs> Not always, every week is a little different, but. So again, we have these really pretty, kind of a dark red color, little hoop earrings, sort of a dark red color, glass bead bracelet. And it is stretchy, because I like my stretchy bracelets. And for my, my skin tone, I can't really wear like a cherry red. If it's more, if it has a little bit of an orangish tint, I, it looks, doesn't look good. But I can go with something kind of like that. So there we have our outfit for Friday. We have a fun little skirt with a fun little belt. I mean, I could even wear that as a necklace if I wanted to. I mean, that would make a cool necklace, but it's, it's a belt. It is. It has um, a unique little hook clasp on it. It's quite heavy, too. I mean, I'm not trying to be Mr. T. This thing is, I would not really want to wear this as a necklace because it is, it's heavy enough that it would be distracting all day. But as, as a belt, that's different. So here we have our fun little skirt, fun little top with our dark red bracelet, earrings, and necklace. And our happy little shoes. And that is our outfit for Friday. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed getting to see my five outfits for work for the upcoming week. It's always a lot of fun to, to, you know, just settle in and focus on getting these outfits ready. And I'm so happy that I get the opportunity to share them with you. Thank you so much for being here. I really hope that you have a wonderful day and I'll see you again really soon.